back to traveling the world. So I will turn it over to you, uh, Mary Margaret, and let you take it from there. And then at the end, I'll just jump on and remind everybody how they can get a hold of their Burst Travel or their Pegasus Travel Advisor to um, check availability and work with if they have any questions. So I'm going to mute myself and I'll turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Gretchen. And it's my pleasure to be here this evening. And it's my pleasure to talk about uh, the rivers of France. And you know, we have some, some beautiful new itineraries to talk about as well. Um, so let's get started here. And so the itineraries that we offer you, we have five in France. And one of the things I wanna point out right now that if you're, you're flying into Europe, right? and you're, you wanna stay longer. Well, with AMA, our, our itineraries in France start on a Thursday, end on a Thursday. So you could actually do a back-to-back. -back. So if you wanted to do the north of France and the south of France, or even the west of France, you know, Western France, you can do that with AMA and spend additional times, uh, time in, in Europe. So we have our Paris and Normandy, which we've had since our beginning, um, in 2002, where we um, go from Paris to um, and Paris to Paris back, all right, into Great Normandy. We do the Impressions, which is a new itinerary for us. And that is, um, we're doing from Paris, it's actually a one way, and we're going from Paris to La Havre, and then um, back to. If you, you could go out of uh, St. Milo, or you can go TGB it down to Paris. And then we have the essence of Burgundy and Provence, which is another new, beautiful new itinerary for us where you are on not only the, the Rhone, but you're on the Stone River. So you're in the Burgundy region as well as the Provence region. And then of course we have the colors of Provence. And with the colors of Provence, we have our new Ama Christina, it's our first twin balcony ship that we've put, we brought from the, um, the Rhine over to the, to the Rhone River, right? This past season, all right? So she traveled a lot on a barge. And then of course we have our taste of Bordeaux and that is a Bordeaux de Bordeaux itinerary. And it is so beautiful as far as uh, you know, wine tasting and the chateaus that you will see. So let's start. I want to talk about just our owners. We are a family-owned and co operated company. You know, Rudy Schneider, who is the godfather of river cruising, is our president and co-founder. He's also our architect, so he designs all of our ships. Christine Counts, another co-founder and our executive vice president. And Jimmy Murphy was actually our third co-founder uh, of AMA. Uh, unfortunately, P Jimmy passed away in 2014, but we we're lucky enough to have his son, Gary, as a co-owner and our senior vice president of sales. And these owners are hands-on. They don't sit in a white ivory tower telling everybody what to do, all right? They, uh, it's not unusual for them to show up on one of our ships. And especially the Ama Christina, don't be surprised if you're on that ship that Christine doesn't show up because that she's the godmother of that ship. I'm showing you this um, slide because number one, it's our ships. We own all of them. We have no debt. And the last 10 ships were paid for in cash, all right? Now, I highlighted the, uh, the Amicello and the Amadante, the Amadolce and the Amalira. Those are our smaller ships. They are our ships in France, all right? They are, 360 feet long and 37 feet wide. They are 170 square feet of cabin space, no matter where you are on the ship. And they are 144 passenger ships. Now the Ama Christina is our twin balcony ship. And she is one of our 443 feet long ships, but still 37 feet wide. And she is 154 passengers, all right? And with a twin balcony ship, you not only have a French balcony in your cabin, but you also have a veranda. And the Ama Christinas, we have our 18 cabins that are purely French balcony at 170. Then we go from 210, 235 to 300 square feet of cabin space. 
where does Ama go? Well, we do all the rivers of Europe, all right? And we have two beautiful ships on the Doro. Those ships are smaller. They're only 102 passengers. And the Doro, those two itineraries are becoming so very popular. Uh, they're running a really probably a close first and second to the, uh, the Danube and the Rhine. And yes, we do the Danube, the Rhine, the Main, and the Mosul. We do not do the Elba, right? And the reason why, even though Christine would love Rudy to design a ship for the Elba, is because the water levels are just too unpredictable. But we have five, as I mentioned, beautiful itineraries in France, which is what we're going to talk about tonight, okay? We also do Vietnam and Cambodia on the Mekong. And we added Thailand two years ago for a pre and a post for you. And that we started in 2009. In 2013, we started Africa. And if you do not have Africa on your bucket list, I highly recommend that you put it there and you talk to one of the Bursch travel advisors because this itinerary um, is South Africa where we, we are in Cape Town, Johannesburg. We fly you to Botswana where you will board the beautiful Zimbizi Queen for four nights on the Chobe. The Zimbizi Queen is 14 suites, 28 passengers. Then we go to um, uh, the falls, and then we also, you've chosen your um, safari, whether it be in South Africa at Kruger National Park, or East Africa in Tanzania, or even Rovis Rail, right? So we also give you five itineraries to choose from in Africa. And then we are starting Egypt in September of 2021 of this year. And that I'm very excited about. I've had that on my bucket list since seventh grade. But let's talk about France, right? So Northern France, the new impressions of the Seine in Paris, where, you know, you'll see a lot of the, the, the cities are the same that we're gonna be visiting. But, you know, the impressions are more artistic, you know, whereas Paris and Normandy is more history. Uh, we start in Paris and, go all the way to Hanfleur and we visit places like Rouen in both in both instances. And I'm going to show you pictures and I've I've designated that where, where we are as far as just going into the impressions or we're just doing all both of them. Okay. Um, but one of the things that you will have the opportunity of doing on on our Paris to Paris is having pre and post in Paris. Okay. If you so choose. And with our impressions, you'll have, you could do a pre or a post in Paris, yes, but we also give you the opportunity to do a pre or a post in St. Milo and visiting Mont Saint Michel. So let's show you some beautiful pictures. Well, with the impressions, as I mentioned, is architecture, it's art. You'll see a lot of chateaus. And yes, you do have the opportunity to do the beaches of Normandy, just as you do on our Paris and Normandy itinerary, all right? Um, you, know, you have the choice and we give you choices, not options. And choices are free, options will cost you money. So every time we stop, there is a tour. So if you choose, once we get to Le Havre to do the beaches on our impressions, you'll spend the whole day doing that, right? Same way with Paris and Normandy. You have the whole day doing, uh, tra traveling up to the beaches, visiting the museums, the, both the American as well as the, as the Canadian, and doing, uh, going into the cemetery itself. Okay? And what, one of the wonderful things about the impressions is this itinerary is the biking. You have a, it's a slower pace, so you have a lot more opportunity if you're really into biking is to enjoy the scenery and the countryside. So with the impressions, let's start in Paris and we're gonna go up into Giverne. We're gonna to go to Rouen. We're gonna go into Hanfleur and we'll end up in La Havre. And when we are in the La Havre, you'll make the choice of doing either a full day La Havre, a half day La Havre, half day Hanfleur, or doing, like I said, the beaches. And Paris, of course, you know. And with Paris, you know, what they're doing to the Champs-Élysées, they're making it a walkway. 
they're taking the cars out of La Chance every day. So it's going to be a pedestrian walkway, which will be very nice. But of course, you have Giverne. And we visit Giverne with, in both itineraries. So you see Monet's gardens. And it really does look like this. Um, you'll see his house. You'll see some of his artwork. It, it is a truly a beautiful experience. And Monet's Gardens opens March 31st and closes October 31st. So again, now on the impressions of the Seine, it's more of the Normandy region. So when we're in Beilu, you'll see the uh, tapestry of the, the Normans. And you will have the opportunity to, to purchase some tapestry if you like, right? But you know, you're in Normandy area. And again, you've got the Norman villages. And the Normandy villages are different than, you know, you see their wood, they have, they have wood in the stucco, right? Whereas in the other areas of France, you have the stone, um, the stone chateaus. And of course, with the Paris and Normandy, you will visit Van Gogh, Van Gogh, I should say, as my husband says to me. You'll visit his cemetery. Uh, you'll do the walk to find his, his, uh, his, his cemetery. And you'll also visit his home where he did a lot of the paintings um, before he passed away. And he is buried next to his brother. So another chateau that we visit on the impressions, right? And this is a very active chateau, actually. Um, it, we visit the chateau, we go in, we, we see the grounds. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful uh, masterpiece of gardening. And then we go into Rouen. And this is where, of course, uh, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake. What's surprisingly about Rouen is, yes, you see the beautiful Gothic cathedral, uh, but you, the, 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 the church of St. Joan of Arc is very modern. I was so surprised when I when I visited Rouen and I saw the church. I was expecting something to be very Gothic, and it's not. It's very modern. And of course, Hanfleur, beautiful Hanfleur. Um, it's a it's a sailing, it's a sea visit uh, village. It's art. A lot of artists were there. Um, you know, Monet, Van Gogh, all these artists, the Rembrandts. They these these not the this, I'm sorry, not the Rembrandt, Italy. Um, they 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 went there to paint, and and you will also experience some of the foods. And in in all of these stops, you will give be given choices as far as either doing a hiking excursion, a walking excursion, a um, a, a culinary, or even a, a, a just a a cooking class maybe in some areas, right? Or wine, of course, wine. And then this is La Havre, where the Seine meets the English Channel. You're actually in Brittany up here, all right? And from La Havre is where you would go into the beaches, as well as from here you would do your um, post or your pre in St. Milo and visit Mount St. Michel. And of course the beaches. And I have to say it's a very, uh, moving experience. If you have not been to uh, the beaches of Normandy and we do it at both itineraries, it, it's a must, it truly is. Um, and it's amazing when you're standing on the cliffs and you see where our men and our boys landed, no wonder there were so many that were, were, were killed. It's just amazing. So let's talk a little bit about my land program. So you can do two nights in Paris and of course, our hotel is right off the Champs-Élysées, right? And we also do the Brittany, of course, the St. Milo, with one night in Paris at the Charles de Gaulle Airport, because you know, you, you're going to do your three nights in St. Milo, you're going to visit Mont Saint-Michel, and then we're going to TGV it down to Paris, where you will have to leave the next, you know, the next day. So you'll be staying at a hotel at the airport unless you decide to travel elsewhere. But you now again, St. Milo, it's a beautiful, beautiful area in France. 
makes me want to go. And then, of course, Mont Saint Michel. Um, this is, I mean, this this area is an island, so we actually uh, cannot actually drive into it. Uh, you have to take a. It's, it's, you know, it's a walking tour, right? So the buses will drop us off um, at the at the at the base, and then we walk, and we take the vernacular up and into the uh, into the city, as well as into the church, into the uh, Saint uh, the Cathedral. Then of course Paris. Now this is probably one of the last times you'll see the Les Champs Elysees with lots of traffic, because as I mentioned, what they're doing is they're making it a pedestrian uh, walkway. And what you will do and see in Paris on both of the itineraries is the luminaires. And what this is is that it's it's all it's it's um, projection of art onto walls. It is absolutely amazing. And you will you will have this opportunity to visit this in Paris. Right? Now we're going to do the south of France, where we do the colors, where we've we've done this itinerary since again the beginning of um of AMA in 2002, where we start in Lyon and we go to uh, Arles uh, Avignon. Right, there, Arles and Avignon are probably about 15 20 minutes away <laughs> from each other. So, again, this is in, on, the, on the Rhone in the Provence area, and then of course, we have the new essence of Burgundy and Provence, which is on the Saone and the Rhone. And you have the opportunity to do a pre or a post in Geneva, or a pre and a post in Barcelona. And we are offering for 2023, and I'll show you that slide, we're offering Nice and uh, Monte Carlo. So in Burgundy and Provence, I mean, you are um, you know, the architecture. You've got all what, the picture that you see there are all vineyards. You are going to have the medieval towns. You're going to have lots of wine tasting, all right? Um, and of course, as I mentioned, wine, Burgundy, as well as uh, the white Burgundies, as well as the red Burgundies. And you've got the foods. There's, there's a, as I go into this, you'll see the, the, the differences in the foods and, and how it's, what they, what they cook with, all right? So, Arles, we both itineraries visit Van Gogh's, uh, Van Gogh's um, Arles, where he did Starry, Starry Night, all right? And Arles is a beautiful, it's very Roman. Actually, I believe that Julius Caesar annexed it into the Roman Empire himself. Uh, you'll see lots of uh, Roman architecture there, right? But the Colosseum is there. Um, so it's quite a lovely, lovely city. And it's a nice walking tour, walking city. But we also can do a bike tour as well as a walking tour. And then in the Burgundy area, you have, of course, the vineyards, the chateaus, and we will visit many of them. But the Burgundy area is also known for its white cows. Quite unique, right? Oops, sorry. Oops. Go back. Um, let's talk about food. You know, they, in the Burgundy area, it's more, the richer. Um, you're talking, they cook with butter, whereas in the Provence area, they cook with olive oil, all right? And of course, you see the brie. <laughs> yeah. And lots of abbeys and chateaus. This is, this particular abbey that is known for its gardens, and we will visit this air, area. You'll have a, a walking tour of the gardens. They're absolutely beautiful. And Bone, this was actually built by a very wealthy, wealthy man who wanted to take care of uh, the poor in, in the area. So he built this hospital and act, we'll actually tour it. But what it's known for actually is a 
I guess the highlight is the, uh, they, they do um, wine um, they, uh, auctions here. It's a society that you know, the, the rich and the famous come to purchase wine. And this is what they do here in, um, in this setting. But look at the roofs. The tiled roofs are different here than they are in the north of France or even in the western part of France in the, in, in the Bordeaux area. Uh, very different as far as the, the uh, and this is, on, this is off the Saône River. Okay. And we start in Chalon and again, you'll see you have a walking tour. And if you start in, if, if you're gonna embark here in Chalon, then you will you have the opportunity to do uh, Geneva. And with Geneva, you will also visit Dijon, right? On your way to embarkation. Now, the calm. This is on the Somme. Once we leave Macon, we are heading to, we're gonna be traveling on the Rhone River. So this is kind of the dividing place. And Macon, of course, is a, another, a uh, beautiful place for biking, for just kind of leisurely walking um, and a city tour as we give you a culinary tour as well as some wine tasting here as well. Lots of wine tasting on this journey, on the essence. And then of course you've got Lyon. And in both places, like the, um, the Colors of Provence will embark here or disembark in Lyon or uh, in the essence of Burgundy as we travel through Lyon. And you'll have city tour, you'll have a bike, have the option of having a biking tour. And you'll, you'll learn about the tubulars, which are their, 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 their kind of walking spaces where you can walk through the buildings without going outside. Right? And of course, Lyon is the gastronomical capital of the world. So you have lots of, um, wine tasting, culinary tasting. And I'm hoping, because pre-COVID, we did a beautiful culinary um, cooking class, right? Where we went into the market and we bought food and then we cooked it at a culinary school, which was fun. But with COVID right now, we don't know. So yes, this is the market. Um, it's Lyon Market. It is definitely a must. And this is a place that we do have a tour to, right? And then we end up in Wien. And Wien is, this city, you could do a hike to the castle up on, as you see it on the ridge, yeah. uh, a walking tour or a choo-choo train, as I like to say. We take a tra little train throughout the village, right? And um, get a tour. Uh, it's again, it's got a lot of the Roman um, heritage and architecture that you will see. And this is in both itineraries, okay? Because again, we're on the Rhone. And then of course, Avignon, the Papal Palace, right? And again, both itineraries will visit this. You'll have the opportunity to do a wonderful bike excursion if you're into biking, you'll have the opportunity to do the Papal Palace, of course, as well as some wine tasting and a culinary experience in Lyon. I mean, I'm sorry, in Avignon. And as I said, this is a layered program that we are offering for 2023 um, for the essence of Burgundy and Provence. You can go into Nice and Monaco for three nights. And all of our tours on our pre and our posts are included. So you're not being nickeled and dimed. So our tours on our ship, when we go into a particular city, town or village, they're included as well as your pre and post. Or you will also have the Colors of Provence. You have a three night package into Barcelona. I mean, and this is again, a beautiful artistic area. And 
as I, as I said earlier, with uh, the essence of Burgundy and Provence, we are now bringing in Geneva, as well as your visit this uh, the beautiful little town of Annecy. And this is the Vienna of the Alps, okay? As you can see the canals in the lovely restaurants. And with our pre and post tours, your hotel, your, uh, your tours and breakfast are included. Your, your lunch and dinner, uh, we want you to explore the cities and, 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 and towns that we're visiting. But on board ship, of course, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are included. And as I mentioned, if you're doing the pre or the post uh, Geneva package, Land package, you will visit Dijon. Yeah, of course, it's home of the Dijon mustard. Let's talk a little bit about Western France. We've done the North, we've done the South and the Western um, Bordeaux. And of course, you see all the beautiful vineyards here of, uh, of the wine. And so we, it's a, it's a round trip Bordeaux so you can, you can fly into Paris, into the Loire Valley area of the chateaus there, uh, embark uh, on the ship at Bordeaux, and then you could also do uh, as a post St. Sebastian Bilbao, okay? Which is exciting. And of course the architecture in Bordeaux is, is amazing, so elegant. And it's a great walking city, a great biking area, uh, the whole tour, right? And again, they have, um, in, and it is inside a submarine, all right, where they have the, the digital art that is on display constantly. And it's, it's a, you will get the opportunity to visit this. Right? And again, it's, it was a WW2 submarine. We will go into St. Uh, um, this, uh, this area. <laughs> Sorry, my mind went blank. <laughs> and of course, experience on board the ship, even the white asparagus, the, the escargot, as well as mussels and oysters. Okay. And you will experience that experience this on the ship as well. So when you visit lots of vineyards and go into these chateaus, you'll get educated on the wines of these vineyards like the Rothschilds okay, and their gardens. And in some cases we get a tour by the gardener themselves of, uh, of the beautiful uh, landscape. And you will visit some museums. You know, we give you we give you free time, especially because this is a Bordeaux to Bordeaux itinerary. You'll have some free time in various different cities and towns that we stop in. All right, it's not the hustle and the bustle. We're trying to give you more quality time, and of course we have a land package in the Loire Valley. You can. <laughs> We're not staying at this, these beautiful chateaus, but you will get to see them, right? <laughs> You'll get to visit them. And of course, you've got Spain's Basque Country as well as a land package to choose from St. Sebastian in Bilbo. And that is the Guttenheim Museum. Oops, I'm sorry. Now, we've got some um, land packages that we're offering for, uh, for France. I had signed up for. Hello. Um, where we're offering you complimentary land, in a, either a pre or a post. So if you're doing the Taste of Bordeaux, you can do the Basque Country. Uh, impressions, we give you St. Malo and Paris one night. Um, we also do Paris for two nights with the Paris and Normandy and Barcelona for the essence of Burgundy and Provence. So again, 
These are complimentary, but you have to make your a reservation with your with your advisor with first travel um, and deposit by February 28th. All right, then it goes away. Just talk a little bit about the tours. All right, we they're small. We've always had small tours and. We've always had our quiet fox system so that you don't have to get up close and personal with your tour guide to hear what the tour guide is saying. And we have smaller groups such as our gentle walkers, our regular walkers, and what I like to call my, my power walkers. As I said, throughout this presentation, we offer bikes. Every single one of our ships, except for the, on the Doro and in Vietnam, have 26 bicycles. And we do hiking excursions as well. So again, small. We've also started uh, two years ago, independent tours. So you don't wanna go out with a tour guide. Go up to the front desk and say, I'm gonna be doing this on my own. Well, we'll give you a map and we'll also give you a sheet that says, maybe you ought to see these places while you're doing your walking tour. Just kind of a suggestion, but we'll also put the time that you need to be back at the ship because you know, if we're not, you're not back at the ship and we leave, you're going to be Ubering it to the next city, town, or village, okay? And we also have late risers. So you don't want to get up, you know, for a seven to nine o'clock breakfast, you know? So you can wake up at nine o'clock and still have, you know, a light fair breakfast and go out for a tour as well, because we do have late risers. We have a wellness coordinator on every single one of our ships. And they're licensed in Europe. We do aerobics, Tai Chi, yoga on the sun deck on a beautiful morning, all right? And if the weather isn't conducive, we move the furniture around um, in our lounge area and we do it there. And we also have a fitness center at every single one of our ships. So we have fitness classes so you can keep up your routine. I mean, you don't have to do a fitness class. You could just go down and work out if you so desire. And then let me talk a little bit about our food. It is fresh, it's locally sourced, nothing's frozen, right? The only thing that we get that we don't make on board is our ice creams and that we get from a Belgian dairy, okay? Um, in the past, pre-COVID, we used to have beautiful buffets for breakfast and lunch, as well as menus on the table. But with COVID, um, no more buffets, but what we call our, we have some action stations as we like to call them. And what we've done is for breakfast, for an example, we may have an omelet station. And you on the table, order whatever you'd like. We have not stopped our sparkling wine for breakfast, so you could start your day off with a mimosa if you so desire. Lunch, you know, we may have a sushi station. We may have a pasta station, plus a menu on the table. But up in our lounge area, we will have maybe a burger station. So again, if you don't want to come down to the, the restaurant to eat, you can go up to our lounge area and have a maybe a quick bite, okay? And for dinner, it's always been menu driven. But with lunch and dinner, we offer unlimited free flowing beer, wine, and soda. You'll have a choice between a red and a white. They're regional wines. So if you're in France, they're gonna be from France, of course. and um, they're changed on a nightly basis, right? Um, and please don't hesitate to take that glass of wine or beer to the lounge, to your stateroom, or up to the sun deck. We don't stop you at the door, okay? And every single journey will experience a Shen dinner. And Shen is a, a, a food association. It was kind of founded in the 12th century. It, you know, was very active in the Middle Ages, in a sense, it went dormant for a long time, was brought back in the 50s, and it's quite active these days. And Rudy was actually inducted into Shen uh, back in 2010. That's why Rudy and Christine are so conscious of the freshness of our food. Nothing's ever frozen, and everything is made on board. One of the things we are known for also is our chef's table. This is an alternative dining for you. All you have to do is go to our front desk and say, I'd like to have dinner there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, on my smaller ships in France, they have 22 to 24 seating. 
On my Ama Christina, which is one of my twin balconies, is 24 to 28. And my Ama Magna then is on the Danube, which is my, my largest ship, is 36 and it turns as chef table. But it's five courses, wine paired, and there, there is no upcharge for you to eat just dinner there at all. Okay. Highly recommend it. We are offering a solo traveler offer, a special one. We've always had a social solo traveler offer, but that was for 25% uh, of my double on a category D and E, which is my, what I like to say is my swan level, my fixed window level. But for now, until February 28th, we are offering 25% of the double rate on a balcony state room. So if you want a French balcony or if you want a twin balcony, okay? But that only goes to February 28th. We do offer a travel waiver plus. And what that is, is independent of any other travel insurance that you purchase, and I highly recommend that you do purchase it, uh, we offer cancel for any reason, up to 24 hours prior to your departure, and it's valid for any 20, 2021 or 2022 sailing, right? Okay? If your advisor at Burst Travel purchases our travel guard insurance for you, it's an additional $80 per person. If she purchases, if you purchase with her or him, um, their policy, their third party insurance, or you have your own third party insurance that you wish to purchase, it's $175 additional per person. But I highly recommend it. Cancel for any reason, okay? Up to 24 hours prior to departure. Because you listen to me this evening, uh, you book and deposit any new. 21 or 22 Ama um, Waterways Dirty with your Bursch Travel Advisor. I, by February 23rd, okay, you will, I will put an additional $100 on your invoice discount, okay, per person. So think about that. Lots of discounts going on right now. Free land, pre and post, you know. You've also got, with, because you're with Bursch Travel, and they are members of Signature, which are wonderful partners, right? They, we are offering during this wave season up to February 20th, 20th an additional $150 onboard credit per stateroom, $75 per person, all right? For any August through December 2021 sailing. Again, think about it. Dream about traveling, it's, it's there. For those of you who have been on oceans, in my blue water uh, ships, well, yes, I know they take you to beautiful countries. They do, but you know, my rivers, my rivers will take you through these, through beautiful countries, and you will get up close and personal with your the cities and towns that we visit, and experience some wonderful, wonderful scenery in the process. So, you'll see. Thank you so very much. And I'm open for questions if anybody has any. Otherwise, Gretchen, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Okay, hey, thanks, Mary Margaret. Um, man, oh man, you know, you watch these and you just get the travel bug and dreaming of all these beautiful places to visit and just sailing on one of those beautiful ships, eating that fabulous food, drinking that wine, <laughs> it is. It is fantastic. So thank you so much for helping us dream a little bit. And um, anybody that would like to get some additional information, um, wants to check availability, please reach out to your Birch Travel or Pegasus Travel Advisor. Um, the best way would be to email um, that advisor if you have their email. If not, you can certainly call. Um, best way is to go to our website under locations and all the locations are listed there with the phone numbers. Um, we are open. Um, some of the offices are appointment only. We do have some limited hours as we continue to, you know, kind of deal with the COVID situation and trying to be um, conscious of social distancing and so forth. So that's why I always um, recommend it's best to email if you can. Otherwise, feel free to call and we'll, uh, we'll get the, uh, 
get the right advisor to you to help answer any questions that you may have. So um, I'm just looking to see if any have popped up in the chat area. Um, maybe give it a, a few minutes. If anybody has a question that they wanna ask Mary Margaret, um, go ahead and type that in the chat box. Um, otherwise, again, thank you so much on behalf of Birch Travel and Pegasus Travel for joining us this evening. It's a good way to spend a bitterly cold night, I guess, and to look at those beautiful <laughs> summer pictures. So yes. doesn't look like we have any questions. So uh, I'm going to I'll let you wrap it up, Mary Margaret. And uh, again, thank you, everyone, for attending and check out um, our website for uh, contact info. And definitely, I mean, please remember, you know, with with not sailing in 20, um, there is a bent up desire to travel and people are dreaming about travel. So please think about 22. If you don't want to travel in 21, think about 22 because we are we are we are open for 22 and we will soon by the middle of March be open for 23 as well. So again, thank you so very much and keep dreaming of travel. Please, thank you. Bye-bye.